Hello friends, this is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in San Diego, California, where it's a little chilly by our standards, meaning low 60s, but it, the sun is shining. So once you're outside here, it's actually quite beautiful. Um, just like I said, for us it's chilly, for you guys going through your storms on the East Coast or wherever, it's you'd say this would be a gorgeous summer day almost in here, or at least spring. Um, but around here, uh, my plants can't figure out what to do. It does this and it, then sometimes it's going, I think later this week, it's going up to almost 80 and my plants will think it's spring and start blooming. And then suddenly it will be winter again, or what we call winter anyway. So, but it's really quite nice out here. So what we are going to be doing today is taking a look at one of the new suites in the January through April mini catalog. And this is actually real fun and, and I'm hoping you're gonna learn something too because it's kind of um, inter, I don't know if I would call it interactive, but um, you know, there's lots of little parts and we're gonna go over the, the parts because I know some people just get a little intimidated by the parts. I'm still trying to figure out if everything looks okay. There we are, good. And hello to whoever joined us. Anyway, so just a reminder today that um, uh, we are in the uh, end of this uh, other catalog, the September through December. Things are starting to sell out. They will not come back. So get them while you can. Some are 60% off. Um, if you don't have the Sending Cheers set, both the dies and the stamp set are 40% off. Get them, you'll thank me later. Um, but today is about all new stuff. Um, if you join right now too as a demonstrator, you can get any of this um, new stuff that I'm showing you starting tomorrow. Um, actually join, if you join today, you can get it today, but also tomorrow is when demonstrators can get anything from the catalog. I just happen to be able to get some of this early and uh, customers can get this starting in January. So let me put you down. Hopefully you can see. Um, go up just a little more. There we go. That's a little better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, anyway, this is the new catalog. This is all I'm allowed to show you. This is the new celebration catalog. This is the new mini catalog. You can see this set right here that makes ice cream, soft ice cream cones. Um, but that's all I'm allowed to show you on the catalog. But I can tell you that the, whoops, oh dang, I just pulled it out. Well, I just pulled out to be able to tell you where, what page it's on. So I'm not gonna see, sit and go through that when you can't see anything, so. This is the lighter than air suite, starting with the hot air balloon bundle. It is a die, obviously a die bundle. It has various sizes of balloons. You can make this heart into a balloon. Um, it's got dies that um, you can add on to the balloon to make a lot of different things, and I'll show you that in just a minute, but let's first just go over the other parts. There are these beautiful dots. They are called rainbow adhesive dots. These are all the colors that are in the, the paper. They're beautiful. I mean, you can use these on so many different things. And then the paper is six by six paper, and it has the following colors in it. Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Bubble Bath, Flirty Flamingo, this is Fresh Fija, Lemon Lolly, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. And they're just beautiful. I mean, even if you don't get this set, you could see how you could use these on other things. Um, like, and I think this would make great like baby cards or kids cards or just very sweet birthday cards. Um, and this set, this one right here, you can actually cut out these balloons. Oh, you can just pick 
of the die. So this is that, that one. And then, you know, you can cut out these. I don't know if any of them, the big ones, no, the smaller ones. So that's kind of fun. It's always fun when they do that. But what I did want to show you is how all these different things can work together. So you can see, like I said, we've got larger balloons and smaller balloons. There's no stamp for the heart balloon. Um, and then these kind of fit in sentiments and two different sizes of the little buckets. All right, so what I did was try to figure out how these things are gonna work together. Wait, let's bring the stamp set back in. So the stamp set, like I said, has this large balloon. That's how it stamps. That's this, a separate stamp um, for the bucket. And then the this is it stamped and cut out, die cut out. Um, this is the smaller balloon, has the two sets of stripes, the larger one here in the orange, that's the smaller one, and then here I stamped it in the blue. And then that's the smaller bucket, and that's the smaller bucket cut out. Um, and then everything else kind of just fits in, like these little stripey things can fit in the center. You can actually, oh, I forgot to do that. Um, let's just get out that other one. You know, you could stamp them and leave them like that, but also it looks like this one. will fit inside the other one. It's a photopolymer, so I'm getting my piercing mat in here. And I think it's gonna take a little bit of um, practice on getting these right inside each other, but they do have a little white space around them, so you don't have to be exactly perfect. So that just shows you how those work. This is another stamp right here, and you can see that would easily fit inside here. But there are these other things that can fit inside there also, what I call like the, the banners here. So you could do that and you could stamp on it, or you could do this one and stamp on it, or obviously over here, and do it in a different color. Is gonna, scheme is gonna give you different ways to use it. You could put this in here. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Joanne. You could layer this, so this would be you know a different color, and layer it on top. Um, you also have one of these, that's this one, I'm going kind of down the line, that would fit more easily on, let's go down here, the smaller balloon, you see that? And again, you could stamp on there, there these ones fit in there. And then we have these little guys, there's one, where's my other one? Uh-oh. I think I lost a little piece. Well, these are two things on the same one. You see that a bigger one and a smaller one. And these can kind of go, say like this, across here. And again, you can layer them. Just imagine these are two different colors and that's kind of layered down there. And then there's that one, a fatter one, kind of like this. that. I seem to have lost. There's these two that are the clouds. Then we also have this one right here, which looks like that, and that layers on the heart. And then, like I said, we've got, you know, you would put that on the, on the bottom. Now, if you'll notice, there are actually three dies for buckets. A large one and a small one that, I don't know if you can see, they're, they're kind of fatter up in here than this one. So these ones, oh, the 
those fell down too. These two are used with the stamps. So see these two stamps right here? You stamp it, then you cut them out. We're gonna use that today. But there's also this one that you don't use with the stamp that you can just use separately if that seems like too much of a pain to stamp and cut out those little ones because it does take a little bit of finesse there. And then there's also this little one that can fit like that on the bottom of the small balloon. I feel like it fits better there on this small balloon. I suppose you could also put it on the little heart balloon and it has its own um, little bucket thing there. And then there's one more that is this, um, I don't know, celebration kind of looking thing, like a little swag. So I'm thinking, you know, that would even be cute on a card, like I'd put a bunch of them together and make a little swag there. But that's how you use all of these different ones. And this is also kind of when I'm getting a, um, a new set and I don't know what to do with all these pieces, I just kind of cut them all out. Oh, here's an example of one of those little ones cut with the, in the bucket. I just go through and I cut them all out, and that way I, I can tell um, what they all do and I don't get so confused by it. All right, let me just find a place for this where I'm not gonna lose another couple of, of these, and we are gonna be using this, the die. So here is the card that we're gonna be making today. And um, I made this card for one of my holiday, or this type of card, for one of my holiday cards. And I just love the way it really uses well six inch DSP. So this is actually six inches by uh, five and a quarter. So all you end up is with this little piece of DSP left. And I just think it's so cute how you can also see both sides of the DSP. Now the other thing to note with this is that um, if you have the um, cloud punch, that would also go really well with this. And I don't know how well you can see, so I'll pull this up a little bit. See the clouds in the background? Those clouds I did by taking our basic borders dies and cutting it out like that with just a little piece of, of scrap paper. And then I just move this around and I'll show you how we do that because we're gonna make this card. Okay, so first we've got the lemon lolly, which is just a one quarter piece of um, card stock, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then remember I said to you, I took the uh, six inch piece and I cut it down to five and a quarter, but it's still six inches all the way across. And then it is um, scored at four inches. So we're just gonna fold that over, and this is not the right size. Never mind. This is the uh, this is the right size. Four and a quarter by five, because now this fits on just fine. So let's do that first. So this um, uses basically a half a sheet of that lemon lolly. So this was the quarter sheet and of that other half that looks um, that started out as five and a half by four and a quarter is now um, still five and a half but it's only four four inches right yeah so it's five and a half still by four that's why when I put it up to here I went oh this is not the right thing because it's four inches across and it's got a score at two and three quarters, so it's scored in half. And we can 
take our bone folder. Let's do that and get a good score on both of them. And that's what's going to go right in here and be that part. So that's what I mean by it is using almost almost all but a little quarter inch of that half a piece of paper. Okay, so next step is to do a little stamping. So I would like to start with this piece of basic white. That's our, whoops, that's our little background. And um, this is two and a half by three and three quarters. And remember our basic borders little piece. And we are just gonna start building up here. Hi, Teresa, hi, Vicki. Glad you guys could join us. This is Balmy Blue. Again, I just pulled it from the colors. Tap a little off. Oh, I didn't even get that much. I want it pretty light. And so what I'm doing is just kind of going up against that. And really, you'd be surprised at how little, you know, it looks like I've hardly put any down. But then you just take a little piece and it's like, oh yeah, that's actually a lot down. And then I just move it and move it up. Whoops. And try to hold it better than what I'm doing. You could take it down, but uh, tape it down, but I'm just being a little bit lazy here. Tap it off. Again, I'm just going to check it. Yep, that's plenty. Because we really want it to be subtle in the back, in the background. And then what I did, if I didn't like, like that seems too white to me, I just went back, again, really take a lot of it off. Because just remember, you can always add more, you can't add less. And that looks like some pretty good clouds to me. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and we can, um, yeah, we'll just build this up first. So we'll just set that aside for a minute. Now what we need to do is we need to get a, um, is this going to be too big? Yeah, a little too big. I'll just take another one of these little ones. And then we're going to stamp our balloon in the Fresh Freesia. Again, taking just the different colors from our oh, I got something on here. Some fuzzy stuff I think on there, so let's try that again. No, I still had some fuzzy stuff on. You see that little mark right there? Let's see if we can do that any better. I don't know what all this fuzzy stuff is. I see a whole bunch of it. Some on my block, some on the other side. That's weird because I cleaned it on my, my scrubber. That doesn't usually happen. Well, we're just going to pretend that it's supposed to be like that. And that's all for that. And then we're going to take the Calypso Coral and make our little um, basket. Now, I sometimes had a little trouble with cutting out these baskets because they're so small. So I'm actually going to stamp a bunch of them. If we don't need them, we don't need them. But if we do, we do. And then we'll cut those out in a minute. I just want to finish stamping. Now we're going to be stamping the Calypso Coral saying on this curved thing. And if you'll notice, 
my saying that says up, up and away, hooray, it's your birthday is not curved. And you could put it on like that, but the great thing about photopolymer stamps is you can actually curve them a little bit. So can you see that, that it's, put this behind here, that now I've curved it a little bit. Here, let me curve it a little bit more so you can see it better. Can you see that? Um, and now it's going to fit a little bit better on here. So let's stamp it so you can actually see it better. And you can see it's a little bit curved. I probably could have even made it more curved if I had wanted to. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I wanted to put a little bit of those clouds on the inside here too. So let's take another piece. It's the same size as that front one. And you remember our little clouds here? I just wanted to put a little bit of clouds down at the bottom. And again, light hand here. It's almost like you can't really see that you did anything till you lift it up. And then you kind of go, yep, yeah, that's just what I wanted. Just a little bit of light clouds down there. So that it mimics what's going on on the front. Like I said, you can always do more. It's, you can't do less. So let's get, I'm going to get my little mini cut and emboss machine in here because these will all fit on here. And we're gonna take the big die that should fit perfectly on here. And then the larger of the two of these and I think part of the reason I have a little trouble with this is you can't really see, whoops, just hit this one. You can't really see where this is going, where those little handles are. But I think that's good. And I'm gonna just take a little piece of washi tape and tape it in place. And we will find out once we get it through here. And remember on these, to stagger those plates. They don't like to be all lined up like they like on the big machine. They like to be staggered here. All right, unveiling. Let's see how we did on cutting these out. That one's perfect. That one came out perfect too. So after telling you that it, sometimes it's difficult. Now, what I'm going to do probably is just cut all these out later. And just, I stick things like this in my box. I'll show you actually. I already have one going because I cut these, some of these in different, um, different colors. And so I just have, you know, a little a little uh, ex bunch of extra stuff. And so next time I go to make a card, I will have cut out some of those already. But that's for later. Okay. So let's put stuff together here. We've got our little thing here. <clears throat> and then what I've decided I like to do with this is just kind of lift this up and tuck those little handles underneath. To me, that's what looks the best. Obviously, you guys can play with it. I could have lifted up this whole um, oops, balloon. But lately I've been trying to just put dimensionals on one thing on my cards because I had somebody at one point 
get told that they owed money on my card because it had too many propped up layers and I don't want people to have to do that when they get a card. So isn't that cool how that fits on there? And then this is going to fit on our other little lemon lolly piece. Hold on, this is not straight on here. Love my green glue. Are you green glue girls or are you tape runner girls? I think it's easier to just try to center this on this page and then when you fold this over it'll be fine. And then this is our inside. You could also um, you know put an inside sentiment but since this is such a little piece of paper I decided I was just gonna leave that so that I had enough room to write something and because these little clouds are so light you could even write over that too you know what I didn't do that we could do on this one that I didn't do on the other one is maybe put some of our dots so what color dots should we use I think I may just use several different dots. Um, hmm. Guys, have any ideas? <laughs> Tammy, I'm happy to enable you to want to buy more stuff because that's what happens to me too. I just recently watched somebody um, do uh, show and tell of a different set that I didn't get and it's like oh maybe I want that one too all right so I'm gonna do at least one orange dot I'm gonna use the small ones one fresh freesia dot that I'm gonna put over that little boo-boo that I didn't like and maybe hmm, a lemon lolly dot a pink dot let's see always in threes I kind of want to use one of these blue ones maybe I'll use a azure afternoon dot just to show everybody look we have dots <laughs> all different colors they remind me sitting here like this of I don't know how old you guys all are, but you remember those little candies that just tasted like sugar and not much anything else that you would get on a piece of paper, and they were all different kind of sherbet colors like that. So here's the one that um, has the dots, and this one is the one without the dots. I think they're both just really, really cute. So is anybody besides Tammy tempted on this uh on this hot air balloon set um, because I know, like I said, a lot of people see a bunch of little things and go, oh no, I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna do that. But really, it's just a kind of a lot of fun of, well, will this go there, will this go there, those kind of things. So um, I'm not liking that purple dot. I may have to swap you out, Mr. Purple Dot. There's too much purple on here already. So you're gonna go back here then we're gonna try, there we go, just a little different color so that everything's not all the same color on here. Very cute. All right, I'm gonna put you guys back up. And ask if anybody has any questions on anything and hoping that you will enjoy uh, your new catalog when you get it. If you've ordered from me in the last year, I will be giving or sending you one. And if you haven't and you don't have a demonstrator you're working with, 
just shoot me a line at stampwithdrrobin at gmail.com and I'd be happy to send you one when I get one. I don't have them yet, so it'll be probably, uh, I don't know, maybe probably about a week I'll get them and then just get them sent out. So take care, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you next week at 1 o'clock Pacific. Bye-bye. Whoop.